That's it. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's try this again. So I just threw on the first lipstick that I literally saw because I have no lips, so I needed to fake it to make it, you know? But it's so freaking cold in here. It looks like it's going to rain outside, but, um... <clears throat> so I just wanted to show you guys how I do my hair at home. I get a lot of questions um, on, like, where I go to do my hair, and jokes on you guys um, I do it myself so um I mean I don't get asked on here I have like 10 subscribers but like in public a lot I get stopped and people will ask me like where I get my hair done like what color is it so I'm gonna let you guys know how I do that today um because I'm gonna be doing my roots as you can tell um it's a long time coming it's time I've been putting it off for a while because the last time I did my roots I barely had my roots showing and I was like oh my god I hate my roots so I did them and then um, my hair was like super dry because I was I dyed my hair like so close together I was bleaching my hair but um yeah I waited I think it's been about a month or two and I also chopped off all my hair so it should be easier I'm hoping it'll be easier to do my hair and then I'm going to even out the color um, throughout my hair because as you can see it's like three colors I have my roots and then I have closest to the roots it's like a darker blonde and then um, the middle is like platinum and then the end again is like a darker medium blonde um, you can tell more on camera in person it doesn't look this bad I promise but what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna be bleaching my roots and then recoloring my whole head to be one even tone um, so yeah let's just get into it and I'll show you guys what I do I am no professional I literally just do this at home um, if you feel comfortable doing this at home, do it, but, um, I'm not telling anybody to, to be doing this because it could damage your hair if you don't know what you're doing. Um, when I first bleached my hair, I had no idea what I was doing. And, um, my hair was, like, bright orange, and then it was, like, hot yellow because I was, like, trying to tone it. But, um, I just gave up and I bought a box dye, and then I dyed it, the blonde the like ash blonde that I wanted because it's darker than how I wanted my hair bleached so I don't know if that makes sense so like I bleach my hair and then I dye it um, the color that I want because it's not as light as when I bleach it I don't know if that makes sense but um, that's the easiest way for me um, if you'd rather like tone it yourself and stuff go for it I tried doing that and um, didn't really work out well for me so yeah I just have like a little t-shirt on that's why I'm not looking all cute or whatever like I usually do but yeah I'm just gonna show you guys how I do my roots so let's get on into it so I should probably mention the things that you're gonna need um are the things that I use so in order to bleach my hair um I get the quick blue I have the L'Oreal quick blue um just get it at a beauty supply store this big bin, I've dyed my roots like four times. No, I dyed my whole head and then my roots. So I've gotten a lot of use out of this. This comes in handy a lot. And it's 20 bucks. Better than going to a salon and getting your hair done and paying like $300. So um, not bad. I got it for 20 bucks. And then you buy the toner. So what I use is the 20 developer. And then um, I mix these together. I read the directions in the back. It tells you like how much... Um, developer to put with how much of your um, quick blue so yeah that's like straight bleach so if you're not comfortable putting that on your head just don't if you're not comfortable dyeing your hair just don't either have someone else do it for you like get all this stuff and have someone else do it for you if you trust somebody that much or just go get your hair done but this is just how I do my hair I don't want you know you guys thinking I'm trying to get you to like make your hair all fall out um, I do have very like strong thick hair also so I'm able to bleach it at home and I feel like there's little damage I'm not gonna say no damage but very little damage done to my hair um, I had also cut off all my hair because my ends were super dead so now I have more like fresh ends but um, yeah okay so those those are the products that I buy I also get um, just a little I don't I honestly have no idea what these are called but, um, you know, like a little bowl thing. You don't need this. If you just have, like, an old bowl that you have, you can use that. And then I get the little pick and um, brush. I like this because I'm able to separate my hair. And then I like how it lays down the product. A lot of people just, like, will go in and just go, go in with your hands. I don't know. Whatever you prefer. Um, hair clips, of course. So I just get these also from a beauty supply. 
I like these. They hold your hair really good. Um, I have some little cheapy ones, but for some reason it's like these hold your hair really good. I think it's like the way that the teeth are in the clip. Um, and then just an old comb. So I have this little comb from the 99, and once I have the color in my hair, I just will comb through it to make sure I have like a nice even application. Um, yeah, you can literally get these at the 99, which is awesome. And then I just have the box dye that I use for the color. Obviously, this isn't my hair color. I mean, it kind of is the ends. The middle of my hair just looks super silver because I overtoned it um, the other day in the shower with my shampoo. So it looks really silver, but then the rest of my hair is like blonde. I don't know. I really don't care. It doesn't look bad in person, so it looks cute. Um, so this is the one that I get. I get the Revlon Dark Ash Blonde. Um, this one has been working for me. I love the color. But um, everyone's hair is going to lift and color differently. So don't expect your hair to look exactly like hers because mine doesn't, you know. But, um, I mean, actually we'll see because I'm going to end up redoing my whole head today. I bought two of these boxes. I love these because it's Revlon. It's a good brand. And then these hair dye boxes are $3.00. So, and I need like two or three boxes because of how thick my hair is, um, but I only bought two, so what, like six dollars for a hair dye, which is really good, and it has like um, apple extract and like all these oils and stuff, and it comes with gloves and a conditioner, which is awesome. So it's inexpensive, but it doesn't give you that like cheapy feel. I really like these ones. I always recommend these to... Um, people when I'm dyeing my hair. I Also when I went dark I used the Rev this one but the Revlon dark brown. Loved the color how it came out and it's so inexpensive. You're welcome. How you should have all of your products in front of you. Um, you want to make sure your hair is lived in. So this is my roots like three days I want to say. They become more apparent in my roots when I have my dark ones. When I have my blonde roots, excuse me, I can get away without washing my hair for like a week. And as I was saying in the last clip, I don't know if I got it or not, but I know it sounds gross, like not to wash your hair for a week, but if you have good hygiene, your hair should be still smelling good, you know? Use some dry shampoo and stuff, or like, you know, I don't know. I never have like anything gross in my hair. My hair always still smells good, so looks good. But it's been working for me ever since I started doing that, like not washing my hair every day. My hair, I can tell a difference. It's so much healthier because I give my... Um, natural oils a chance to peek through and moisturize my hair so um, yeah that's just what I've been doing so now um, I'm just gonna go ahead and start mixing my products and then we'll, I'll tell you how I part my hair and everything okay so I'm gonna show you guys how I do it um, it has like directions on the back on like what you should do so like it says um, application for on scalp and it'll say one scoop for every one scoop of quick blue you want to mix um, 1.5 ounces to 2.5 ounces of 20 or 30 um, volume. You know what I'm saying? So um, that's what I'm going to do. I have a shit ton of hair, so I'm going to go in with two scoops, about two scoops, and then um, I go ahead and put the toner in after. Sure. I kind of like making it. It's like kind of fun. So I have my little scoopy scoopy thing. And it's cool because this has measurements on the side if you need to know. Um, mine just says 10, 30, 50. doesn't have like what measurement it is. Am I done for that? I'm not knowing. I don't know. So here I'm taking one scoop. I'm putting it in. And then a second scoop. I'm going to put in. That one wasn't full though, so I'm just going to grab a little more. I'm like running out of my quick blue, so that could also be why. Um, okay. So now I have my powder in here. Can't really, can't really see her. Um, also, you might want to do this in like a bathroom or an open air room where um, it's not gonna smell so bad. But um, I hate my bathroom; it's so small. There's no room for anything. So I've been just doing it in my room, and then I air out my room, like while I'm showering, um, because this is two applications. I usually do this in one day. So I do my bleach, wash my hair, dry my hair, and then I color. So. I know it sounds like a lot, but I'm too impatient, and I don't want to be walking around with yellow hair. So yeah, so like while I do that, I'll like air out my room, and then um, apply the color, do the same thing while I rinse my hair again, air out my room. But, you know, who really cares about what I'm saying? 
I don't know. And I'm looking this way. I have my mirror here for like when I'm actually like doing my hair and stuff, you know. Okay, so I have the quick blue in here. It says 1.5 to 2 ounces of um, the developer. But you want it until it's creamy. You don't want your bleach to be chunky. That means you didn't put enough, um, uh, what's, oh my gosh, developer. Or you're not mixing it enough. You don't want your bleach to be chunky. You want it to be nice and creamy. It's just saying, oh shit. I'm not even showing you guys. So this one was like empty, so I'm just finishing this one. And then I have a little bit, um, whoa. And then I bought a new one right now. I literally ran to the store because I didn't think I'd have enough. And I'd rather be safe than sorry <laughs> with um, dyeing my hair. Like, I have made so many mistakes, you guys, it's not even funny. Like, when I first bleached my hair. I didn't get enough hair dye. So I'm just kind of eyeballing it because I've done this a lot. Um, but use measurement measurements use use like measurement cups or whatever you want or if your little thing um has measurements then go ahead so i'm just mixing in the quick blue and the developer but if you've done your measurements and it's still feeling like chunky or whatever go ahead and add like um some more uh, developer as you go so I, as i'm mixing it i can tell i didn't put enough developers so i'm gonna go ahead and add some more because it's like a lot more chunky, like there's, you could totally tell it, there's a lot more of the powder than there was, um, developer. And I do make a lot, like, it's kind of ridiculous how much bleach I make, but I, I'm telling you, I would just rather be safe than sorry, because I don't want to be making, um, like, in the middle of bleaching my hair, and then I'm like, oh my god, I need to make more, because then my color is going to be uneven. Alright guys, so now that my mixture is pretty smooth, um, I have little to no clumps. I'm going to set this aside for a second. It's already starting to smell in here and I'm going to suffocate. One can only help. Okay, so what I'm going to do is um, separate my hair. I'll just go with my natural hairline. I usually do the part down the middle, but right now it's not working. Um, I'm just going to comb through my hair. I love how short my hair is. It's literally so easy to do absolutely everything to it. So let's hope this is added to the list. So I have my little pick comb. I'm gonna actually just, I'm just gonna actually separate my hair. Okay, parted. Oh, I usually part it. And then um, I'm gonna do about three sections, but I'm gonna go from the bottom up because um, my lightest hairs will probably be on the bottom and then the color that I know that I desire will be on top and I'll be able to check it like while having um, while having it on top, if that makes sense. Well, even though my hair is shorter, I might actually just do two um, sections. But just make sure I get them really good. It's going to be hard because my hair is so short gonna be a mission guys but we can do it I'm use two clips to hold up my my pelos okay so once it's separated and your quick blue is ready go ahead and start so I'm just making sure once again that it's not clumpy I'm going through it one more time but looks good so what I'm gonna do is I know that I'm like totally looking this way, but it's because my mirror is there. Sean, please excuse me. Probably going to be speeding through this, but what I'm going to do is take each section, um, cover completely cover my roots, and then just keep parting my hair as I go up and um, completely cover my roots. You want them fully, um, what's the word, like, you want them completely covered in the bleach. You don't want to be missing parts. So, um, Pay attention, take your time, but don't take too much time because your scalp is going to start burning. So I'm just going to go ahead and go in. Look at them roots, girl. It's time. It's time. I'm going into my sideburns because them holes is dark, you know? 
and it's hard when you're doing your own hair because you're not seeing all your angles but I'll show you guys like what I do in order to make sure that I get everything Kind of touching and rubbing it in as I go because I can't see back here so I'm literally just going in blind but I'm kind of feeling my way through it you know so while I'm at that split part of my hair I have the bleach and I'm coloring it this way and also this way so that um, the next layer of hair that I pulled down is already covered underneath if that makes sense so I don't need to put as much um, bleach even though I am going pretty in today, but um, it was much needed. Like, my roots were tragic, really. They still are. Look at them. Okay, so I'm letting this part of my hair down, and I'm going to just take another section. So yeah, I lied. I don't know why I said three sections. I literally part my hair into like ten sections, but I'm going all the way around. I'm going to comb this because it's going to hurt to section it off. I already know. My poor hair. Okay, so you're going to see as I'm going to the top, um, I'm able to be more, um, like, uh, oh my, I can't think of any words today. I'm being very more um, detailed as I go up because I can see. Okay, so hardest part is over for the bleaching. Um, it was not so bad. Maybe it took me 30, 45 minutes. Um, what I like to do is put my hair in a plastic bag and then blow dry it. Not blow dry it, but put heat on it so that my hair lifts really nicely and that um, I get a little warmth into my roots. So I just use a plastic bag. Like I don't get fancy at all. Um, I'm gonna put it up. I'm gonna put it in a ponytail so that it's easier. Um, I don't get fancy at all. You could buy literally like a shower cap, anything to keep your hair concealed, um, in order to lift your roots really well. So I'm gonna just. And then I like to leave like that little hole for the blow dryer. So, like that. Just gonna tie it. I know it looks so tacky, guys, but don't fucking judge me. It gets the job done, you know? So, it's not even a big deal. So um, I'm going to keep this on my hair for another 25 to 30 minutes. The quick quick blue box says 30 to 40 minutes or to desired color. Um, I want mine pretty light so that I could apply the color on top. It's going to be a little bit darker, but I'd rather have um, my roots lighter and then be able to color them after. 
So I'm going to set my timer for about 30, 25, actually about 30 minutes because I've already had the bottom of my hair has been sitting for a while. So you can either make a hole. This one has a hole. It's a little small. My blow dryer is not going to fit. So I'm going to make one just like that. Amazing. And I'm going to do this for about two minutes, maybe five minutes if I'm watching something. I don't put on the heat for too long. Alright guys, so this is me after um, showering, rinsing out the bleach. So as you can tell, my roots are white and then the rest of my hair is quite yellow. Well, my roots aren't actually white, they're yellow as well. But, um, yeah, that's why I don't just do bleach. I will go in with my bleach to get my desired lightness. And then I go in with um, the box dye. So what I'm going to be doing today, though, is um, along with the dye, I'm going to add a little bit of toner. It's the Wella T11 Lightest Beige Blonde. And um, I honestly just want to finish it because I have, like, half of a bottle left. I'm just going to be adding a little bit into the um, hair dye. So what I'm going to just do real quick is um, mix this. You just follow the directions on the back. I'm just going to put this together and I will be back. Alright, so um, what I did was I mixed um, two of these and two of these because I used um, two boxes of the dye. And I went ahead and put it all in here. I mixed it up. I added um, maybe like a teaspoon of this toner, the Wella T11. And then I also added... Um, just because I wanted to use it and um, uh, I wanted to use it and to add some moisture into the hair dye. It's the Cantu Texture Scalp Saver. It's just oils. It has um, vitamin A, D, E, and K. It just says it's a mineral oil. But I got this big old bag of it and I haven't um, used it. But it says do not rinse, so I don't think it's very greasy. Um, I've used it on my hair though before, it's not really greasy at all. But um, it's like a big bag and you can't reclose it. So just added that so you can have a little bit of moisture going on. Some hydration. So I went ahead and mixed it. This one is a lot thinner than the um, bleach. So with this one, you're going to want to be careful um, applying it because it is going to get everywhere if you let it. So I'm just going to put a towel over my lap so I don't get my pants bleached. And then I'm just going to start separating my hair and dyeing it as same way that I bleached it. I'm going from the bottom up, but I'm going to just go ahead and speed through this for you guys. still and I got two boxes but I mean it might but we'll see I just want my roots to blend seamlessly with like the rest of my head last time I did my hair it wasn't that seamless because I didn't keep the hair dye in my hair long at all I kept this in my hair maybe 10 minutes and then I rinsed so my hair wasn't the color I wanted either but this time we're gonna do it right and let it sit So what I'm going to do now is just comb through this to get the um, like an even application of the dye in my whole head. I'm going to put um, the bag on my head like I did with the bleach. 
Uh, maybe blow dry it a little bit to add some heat and then I'm going to wash it out and then I will get back to you guys and we'll see the final hair look. It is so cold but anyways. So I washed out the dye and then this is how my hair looks. It's not fully dry. Not styled either but this is the color. I did my full head. So it's not as like yellow as it was before. It's really ashy which is what exactly what I want. But yeah, that's how it looks. I don't have any brassiness left in it. I left the dye in my hair for like 30, 35 minutes. It says um, 20 minutes for like the picture on the box, but then do an extra 20 minutes if you want like ultra light blonde. So I did like 35, but um, since my hair was already blonde, but yeah. So this is how I do my hair at home in case anyone cares or was wondering. So yeah, well that's how I do my hair at home in case anyone wanted to know. There you go, super easy, under like 30 bucks. Pretty sure like 30, 35. I'll go ahead and let you guys know how much I paid for everything in the description. But yeah, if you enjoyed this video, then go ahead and subscribe. And if you want to see more from me, let me know.